Hello YouTube. Today we're going to go over how to import and edit models for Sonic Heroes. One thing to note is that for this tutorial you will need 3DS Max, at least one of the versions supported for the GTA DFF plugin, which is, I believe, versions 09 through 2018. Before we get started, it's worth noting that the GTA DFF exporter will only export up to 5 meshes. This is unfortunate because in-game the models clearly support more than that, but that's just something we have to deal with. In addition, the game itself limits us by only allowing up to 2,000 polygons per mesh, so in effect you're limited to 2,000 polygons for now until someone comes up with a better exporter or something. But as is, it's worth noting. So the first thing we'll want to do is download the model importer here. Get that downloaded, go and extract it, and then you'll see in it, it has plugins, which you'll take that, you'll put it into your max plugins folder for whatever version you have. Keep in mind it has to be a supported version. I already have it there, so I'm not going to do it again. But what you also need to do is make sure that you put this startup folder into your startup scripts for max. And for this, you just drag the whole folder in and then copy it. Just replace what's in there. Now, after you've done that, you should be able to import the model, but we need to get the model first. And so to do that, we'll go into the Heroes directory. We'll go into Play Model. And let's just pick Sonic. We'll put him there. And then we'll open the uh, file once we've got it there. And then what we want to extract is actually the soniclocator.dff, which is his actual model. Now the other models in here are used to the Mabutas are eyelids, and those are all used for animating that whenever Sonic blinks. And then the K locator is actually his shadow, but you don't really need to edit that if you don't want to, you can just kind of leave it there. So now that we've got the soniclocator.dff out, if you've installed it and restarted Max, you should be able to go in there and import it directly. Bada bing. So now we've imported Sonic. As you can see, his material colors are there, but the textures are not. Mainly, mainly because we haven't actually linked them to the material in Max or anything. Don't worry, the names are still referenced and everything, so this isn't a big deal. If you really want to see them, then you can just kind of go into the Material Explorer and bring them over like so. And they're all there. You can see what uses what. And if you want, you can replace it and give it a different name if you want to use a different texture or whatever, it doesn't really matter. As long as you make sure to use the renderware material, which... By default, obviously models in Max will use the standard material right here. But you'll want to use this renderware material for your models in this. By default, it'll import with this, so keep that in mind. Now, let's say you want to use a different model for Sonic. I don't know, replace him with uh, Silver Sonic or something. And I happen to have that pulled up here. You can go ahead and download that. He's about the height we need, but we'll probably want to scale him down and fit him properly so that it looks okay in game. So what we'll want to do is go in and select these here. You know, rotate them accordingly, match it up, yada yada. Then of course we'll want to go and rig it and put everything in position. Obviously the arms aren't in position or anything, but 
the important thing is getting all these bones to fit in properly. And I'm not going to go over that here because rigging is a process in and of itself, but you can find a number of videos on that on YouTube already. So as you can see here, this is a finished rig of this. It's using the old bone set and everything. Everything moves accordingly. And while the textures don't really look right right now, that's mainly because of the same reason as before, is that the names are assigned, but they're not showing up in Max because of how I have it set right now. So anyways, if you still have the Sonic model around from before, then you'll want to go and delete that. And assuming that everything else is set up, you've set up your materials and everything, then you can go ahead and export. One thing I would check, though, is making sure that your materials have an environment map if you want them to be shiny. If you notice, in-game, Sonic is very shiny in Sonic Heroes. If you don't have an environment map, then the model will look very, very flat. It'll still be able to have shading, but it won't have the sheen to it. And so all you have to do is put in an environment map there. So I'm assuming you'll want to have Sonic actually be shiny, and if we want that, then all we really have to do is go over to here. If you have Magic TXD, you can just open these TXD files like this, and this Pawn T will be the texture that's used for the shine. So go into all of your materials you're using for your model, and in the environment map slot, you'll want to just place this pawn T or whatever environment map you want there. This works for other things as well, like if you want to make Metal Mario or something, but it's very fairly simple. You do that, then you show, you put this value to the amount that you want the shine to bleed through. You make sure that this is effect environment map. And you set, obviously, the normal texture here to whatever you want the colors to be. You can also not have a normal texture and just have a color here, and the game will be fine with that as well. But it's important that you set this to effect environment map, or it will not show up in-game. So that you don't select the main model. And that'll just export anyway with this exporter, it's fine. So what we do is we go and export selected. We're going to replace that old model or make a new one if you want. Make very sure that these specific settings are used or it will not look correct in game more than likely. We want to set to 3.5. So now that you've done that, let's go back here. You'll want to use renderware analyze to open the model that you just exported. For some reason, the GTA export doesn't work completely properly for this. And so, you'll need to replace this right to render. I already have a file that I've linked in the description for this. But basically, you're just changing the one that was here into a two, and that makes it work in game. You save that. And now we're ready to import the file into the one to my knowledge, by the way, the bump map does not work. I believe some of the op other options do, but I have not, not been able to get the bump map to work, so if anybody has anything to say about that, feel free to leave a comment. Anyways, so now we're about ready to put our model in game. So what we want to do is take this Sonic DFF, that one. That one. We want to replace the Sonic Locator with the one that we just made. going to save that and then obviously if you have any textures that you added or changed you can go into the txt that you made and import export that it's pretty easy not really much to say there but anyways that aside we're going to copy that over to the new area now if you have the heroes mod loader all you have to do is go into here Make a new mod folder, in this case, Silver Sonic Tutorial. I've already set things up, but basically, 
we want to make a folder structure like this. Root, dvd root, and then play model. Our DFF is going to go into the play model area. And from here, obviously you want a mod INI to kind of let the mod loader know that you have something there. I like to use Notepad++ so that the lines show up correctly but you can use Notepad if you want, and I don't think it matters. Go ahead and edit it to whatever you want. Make sure it's different from any other INIs that you have. Also, place the TXD in here as well if you haven't. And there we go. Also, I suppose I should mention, if you want your character to show up in the character select screen, or team select screen, I suppose, you'll want to copy the advertisement player Sonic thing here. Put it here, something, just make a copy of it. And then just replace the model here with that same model that you did before. As before, copy and paste it into the folder structure of the original game. And it should work out fine. From here we're going to open the configurator, we're going to tell... We're going to tell it that we want to load the Silver Sonic tutorial thing that we made. We're going to launch. And now we're in Sonic Heroes. As you can see, the model loads up here. The model also loads up here. It will not work correctly in cutscenes, but as long as you keep the same bone count, it should work fine. And not crash or hurt. Sonic's body will just be invisible and he'll have this weird floating head. Let's fly through with Sonic speed! Okay! Alright! But assuming you did everything correctly, it should load up and be fine. So if you wanted to replace the actual team icon here, you'll need to edit that texture yourself. Anyways, that concludes this tutorial. Hopefully that was helpful.